I had an idea to make my rotational axis more usable and to combine it as a simple lathe. Uh, and for that purpose, I built a control box which uh, lets me use it as a lathe or uh, the rotational axis. In this video, I will show the first test I ever made with this uh, design. As you can see, this is a very primitive design uh, built using uh, two 45 by 90 aluminium profiles. Uh, so it's really very simple. Of course, it will be bigger once it's ready, but right now it can only be tested as a drill, but it will show if the concept is working or the idea is totally crazy. I decided to test it on a steel rod because I figured that if it works on steel, then it works on anything I want to use it on. So let's make some noise. The spindle is spinning at uh, 380 RPM, which is uh, quite good for steel but actually it's a bit too slow for all the material I mostly want to use it on but uh, that's the maximum speed I can have so it's a compromise. So far so good, the spot drill seems to have no problem at all but I drive it quite slow because uh, I don't want to stall the stepper immediately. This seems uh, very good. The stepper doesn't seem to have any problem with spinning at 2280 RPM, which is uh, necessary to spin the spindle with uh, 380 RPM. It looks quite good and I like what I see for now anyway. Of course the drilling is pretty slow compared to a real lathe, but uh, I don't have one. So for me that this is uh, this seems to be good enough for now. So the spot drilling is done now, I will see how it works with a real drill. It's a 6.5 mm. This is what happens when the stepper stalls, and this was caused because I was a little bit too fast with the drill. Also, you have to remember that uh, this is dry drilling, no lubrication at all. So maybe it's not optimal. Anyway, let's start once again. Once the drill drilled through with the full diameter, it feels really, really, really very smooth. So fading is quite easy, but I still have to be careful because I think it can stall if I am not 
careful enough. I still have to get used to that noise. It, uh, it sounds terrible, in, especially in the room where I am. But it's a learning curve. I have to learn the proper fade rates and fade it uh, accordingly to avoid stalling. So that's it. I think this is good enough for a first test. At least it shows that uh, the willing and probably boring also is uh, not a big issue, even if you are using a stepper as a spindle motor. Uh, of course, the stepper cannot be very weak. My stepper is a 1.8. Uh, newton meter 3 amps uh, and it's driven by 48 volts so so it's a good stepper motor uh, considering its size and um, i'm going to continue with this project so i managed to produce some swarf not just some dust i'm quite happy with this shape That's it for now. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and welcome back next time.